The animal world teems with monsters that crawl and fiends that fly. But some of the strangest and most savage beasts on the planet do their dirty work underwater. When a hard-shelled freshwater crab and a slimy tiger leech bump heads, there are no soft options. Both creatures live and feed in the same pond. The freshwater crab is a shameless scavenger, feeding on the recently dead, or anything too weak to fight. They'll eat small fish, they'll eat small invertebrates, they'll eat other small crustaceans, uh, they'll eat a little bit of plant material, they'll eat essentially anything that they can get. Like a knight in shell-hard armor, the freshwater crab's body and legs are safe from all but the most extreme assault. Even her eyes retract on stalks, folding in like car-side mirrors for safety. But the freshwater crab's major weapon is its claws. And it's with these claws that they're able to do everything. They can grab prey or potential predators. They can tear things apart. They can move rocks around. They can dig burrows. They do courtship, waving their claws to the females. They can do whatever they want to do. Sharing the freshwater pond is a devastating opponent. The tiger leech. It doesn't feed on the dead. It sucks life from the living. The tiger leech is an aquatic vampire that actively seeks out its victims. But instead of using fangs, it has three jaws that it makes a Y-shaped incision and then sucks the life out of them. Tiger leeches are relentless. The posterior sucker attaches to their victims with an almost unbreakable grip. Up at the head, the anterior sucker does the real damage. It's all mouth, with tiny, razor-sharp jaws. Once they bite a prey, they hold on with a combination of suction and mucus. They also inject an anti-clotting enzyme to keep the wound from closing up and slowing down their feeding. That's bad news for the tiny freshwater crab. But it does have the weapons to fight back. I think the leech is quite capable of bringing the crab down without getting cut to pieces by the claws. When a flesh-sucking leech fights a sharp-clawed crab, one is destined for Davy Jones' locker. Next, an underwater war where winner takes all. Two pond dwellers are about to engage in a fight to the death. One is a flesh-sucking leech, and the other a hard-shelled crab. The crab shell is tough, but the leech's jaws and teeth can cut through it like a diamond tip saw. That's if the crab doesn't cut the leech in two. It's feeding time in the pond, and any creature is fair game. The crab backs off. 
But the leech is back. It searches for the crab's Achilles' heel. And finally finds access to the soft flesh. The jaw is clearly visible. The leech starts to suck the crab dry from the inside. This is bad news. The crab is able to defend itself really well in the front of its body, but behind, it can't get its pinchers. It can't get its legs behind it. And if that's bad news, there's worse to come. Leeches have chemosensory organs, and they've detected a crab in trouble. The scent of the crab's blood in the water is like a homing beacon for the pond's other leeches. They're going to do everything they can to join the party. And the more that are on board, the less chance the crab has of fighting free. Another tiger leech joins the feeding frenzy. It latches on. The crab grabs with its claws. But the leech is covered with slimy mucus and slips out of the crab's grasp. The claws have dispensed with one leech, but now they're gummed with slime. Undisturbed, the remaining leech sucks the life out of the crab. When the tiger leech drilled through the crab's carapace, the crab began losing all its fluids. Emptied of its body fluids, the crab draws its last breath and is consigned to a watery grave. 